Hey guys, Triple Glitcher here, and today I'll be showing you a glitch on Buried. This is a wall breach glitch, and it doesn't matter if, I'm, if it's on difficult or, or an easier or original. And just start match. Alright, so just wait for the game to start up. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to spawn in, well obviously, then you want to jump down here and you will need about 2750 bucks to get everything prepared for this glitch and you also need to build the trample seam so you build that so you can get some money by the way all of this is it will be done on round one next what I usually do is instead of being a retard and hitting the box trying to get paralyzed at first try I open that door go grab two chalks and put them on the walls over by the jail cell by the way guys once you are in this glitch there's no way to get out of it as far as I know there may be a tutorial on somebody else's channel on how to do it but as far as I know there is none there are none. <clears throat> One sec, guys, just gonna change that sensitivity. You know what, since, oh wow, alright, so, I almost have enough to do it, Alright, so just in case you didn't know, one, one of the chocks is over there, and you can just build another one right up here. I didn't really choose which ones to grab, I just grabbed random ones. Now, what you're going to want to do is open up this door right here, and I'll, this will also be a tutorial on where to, I mean, how to build the trample steam. Alright, so the first part is right here. By the way, you can build the trample steam in any of the spots where you're able to build equipment. One of the spots is right here, it's the closest and the easiest to get to without spending any money at all. Next, here's the engine. Just saying, guys, you should probably get all of your perks and all your guns and stuff before you go into this glitch. And you may want to get the galvan knuckles, unless you have the paralyzer, because once you're out of ammo in there, there's there really isn't any way to get more ammo unless, until you get a max ammo. Alright, so the third part was right there, then the last piece is right here. Alright, see so you know, the say hold X to for trample steam. Oh, and for all you PS3 users, this does work on PS3. Some extra points. Hit the box once. Oh, alright, well, this isn't really helpful, but it's just a tutorial. Alright, so since I already opened up that door, all I need is $2,000, so I can just come right over here. By the way, guys, I would not re recommend doing this in the middle of a round unless you have somebody watching your back. Alright guys, and you're going to want to jump over here, place your trample steam right here, all 
Alright, then, as you can see, you are now in the glitch. You can walk freely back and forth around here. You can drop down a level. This is the rift. The large hole you can see at spawn. And this works in all game types, whether it's in custom game, public match, or anything like that. And it also works on grief, and you can sort of spot a green smudge right there that's actually a tree. And when you're playing in grief, for some reason, everything is darker. And there's actually a town and everything, a village over there. And there's cliffs and everything around, all around, and you can actually see those. But, um, yeah, this is the glitch. And I'm warning you, if you have a gun that has a lot of kick or knockback, and it pu pushes you back, just warning you that there is a death barrier, see? Right there. I have died plenty of times from this, so... If you do have something like the Rigor Mark 2 where it pushes you back every shot, just hold it forward so that it doesn't really push you back as much and you slowly move forward as you're shooting. Just a friendly little tip right there. Alright, so that's it. Super Glitcher out.